Well, I've made it. Made it to the falls. A little water running through here. Oh, beautiful. Well worth the trip. And uh, the great mushroom hunter isn't going to make it here. She's going to spend all day hunting for mushrooms. She'll never make it up here. And the day is starting to pass on us and we need to, uh, we need to move on. So I'm going to have to turn and go. Pick her up on the way back down. So she missed out, but I think she's going to have a lot of mushrooms for dinner tonight. So that's a plus. Oh, uh, you before, can take pictures in a minute. Do your I pick them. well. You need to do a happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Now you can start picking mushrooms. Right. I am so excited. So this isn't black the most trumpets. ideal spot to pick black trumpets, but uh, I'm not gonna look a gift yeah. mushroom in the mouth. <laughs> Some of them are pat way past their prime. Look at those! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. My very first. How exciting! Welcome to Skyways to Highways, Camp Kitchen. A word of caution, you're gonna see my mushroom happy dance right now. things to do is the farmer's market. I've never seen so many trumpets. We're gonna have to go check in for the campsite. <laughs> What's your point? <laughs> <laughs> we might have spotted mushroom. Oh, we did spot a mushroom. What kind of mushroom? It's another uh, coral. Edible? What did we find? We found yellow chanterelles. Right. Look at these, aren't they Look beautiful? Oh wow, those are really pretty. Yes. So the um, the chanterelles that I had yesterday, right, that I found, those are very delicate. These are more meaty. These are more hearty chanterelles. These can take a lot of garlic. They can be sauteed, you know, for a little bit longer. These are delicious. And my very first time finding them in the wild, so I'm excited. Smell them. Isn't that nice? Nice, yeah, they do smell good. Yeah, they do. Mm, cool, good find. Very good find. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for following us through the woods today, foraging for mushroom. Uh, we have a nice little haul today. I'm just getting these maitakis, the uh, hen of the woods cleaned. They're a little dirty, you know, and it's kind of tedious, but I don't mind because I know, you know, they're going to be delicious when I'm done. What are we making tonight? Tonight we are going to make some chanterelle risotto, and I'm going to be using the, um, the chanterelles that we found here. And I just have to clean them. Again, you know, the tedious part is, you know, cleaning them, but these are really choice, beautiful chanterelles. And uh, once I get them cleaned, we're going to um, cook them in some of the stock that we have and some arborio rice, some vegetables that we have, whatever we have in the, in the, in the fridge. But um, yeah, we found some really, we got a nice haul actually for a couple of days of foraging. We have uh, the yellow chanterelles here, the black trumpets, and uh, some maitakis here, as I already showed you, uh, a teeny bit of uh, lion's mane, and we've got some uh, sawtooth here. I am looking forward to getting all these clean, and we hope you enjoyed 
uh, running through the woods with us. And uh, don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please like, uh, comment, and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more content like this. Since you found all those beautiful mushrooms, what's your idea about dinner tonight? Well, um, so I am thinking, I have some uh, bomba rice. I don't know, when I think of Sean Charles, I think of like a really nice, rich, creamy risotto, especially on a, on a chilly fall. It's chilly. Yeah, it's a chilly fall <laughs> day what, here, the, evening. I don't know what the temperature is right now, but it's, it's dropping it's quick. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought, you know, like a nice warm risotto mm -hmm. would be would be perfect with these chanterelles because they're just beautiful. Sounds delicious to me. So. Sounds like a game plan. <laughs> I'll be in charge of pulling the solo stove out and get us a little heat going. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Skyways to Highways Camp Kitchen. We are here in the White Mountains of New Hampshire at Jigger Johnson Campground. And we just got back from a hike and uh, I found an amazing amount of these beautiful, beautiful chanterelle mushrooms. I mean, just get a look at these, you guys. I mean, look how gorgeous these are. I'm not sure how, I don't have a scale with me. I'm not sure how much I have here, but maybe two pounds. So I've cleaned a handful of these, a couple of handfuls, and I am going to uh, attempt to make a risotto on uh, the Timbo test today. And I started off uh, chopping my vegetables. I've got a mirepoix of onion, garlic, celery, carrot. I have some uh, zucchini, all from the farmer's market uh, in the farmer's market in Brattleboro. Yeah. <laughs> the farmer's market in Brattleboro, Vermont, where we were uh, last week. And I have uh, some bell peppers and some uh, chicken mushrooms that I found uh, in the woods there in Brattleboro and some artichokes, some herbs. So we're gonna throw this together. I have my stock going here uh, from the scraps that I, you know, the, the onion tops and the carrot bottoms and all that stuff. So I made a nice little stock out of that. That's simmering nicely here. It smells, it smells amazing. So we're gonna get going on this uh, because it is, it's a little chilly <laughs> and we're probably gonna just try and eat early tonight is to put this little diffuser in between the Timbo Tusk and my burner. There we go. This gives me a wider surface uh, to cook on. So I'm firing up my Timbo and I'm gonna let that come up to temp. So chanterelles are, you know, if you haven't had them before, they're a very delicate mushroom. Um, they are really, uh, they don't need a whole lot of work. You don't want to uh, overpower them. They're very delicate, as I said. So I'm not gonna do too much with these. I'm gonna leave them uh, as they are. I have split uh, in half, just torn these in half, the bigger ones, and the rest I'm gonna leave as is. And I'm basically just gonna be cooking these through, just wilting them. You know, you don't wanna eat raw mushrooms, but I also don't wanna overcook them because they'll just disintegrate and, uh, and you won't be able to taste their flavor or, or, you know, have their texture. So I am going to begin with my mirepoix, uh, which again is my celery, my carrot, my onion, and I've done a nice medium dice of those. Next I'm adding my bell pepper and some garlic. I'm gonna add about half my garlic. I think I have uh, about a tablespoon of garlic. Again, I don't wanna overpower uh, my mushrooms too much. So I'm not going to go crazy on the garlic, even though Gary loves it. Um, I really just want to enhance the flavor of these mushrooms. In goes my zucchini squash. Add a minute just to brown a little bit. And then we're gonna put in our boreo rice and hope for the best. <laughs> Just gonna season my vegetables here with a little bit of my special spice mix. What's the spice mix you got? Called road dust. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, was a, it was a little bit of a hit at the Hiker Trailer at East Camp Out this year. And uh, I've gotten a lot of encouragement with it so um i don't know maybe one of these days soon you might find road dust 
in a store near you. Yeah, let's see, we'll see what happens. All right, uh, so my vegetables are as done as I want them. So I'm gonna push these to the side. Uh, out here on the edge, if you don't have experience with using a Timbo Toss, you've got a little uh, cooking surface here, which is right in the center. Then your warming, or should I say staging area, is on the outer edge of your Timbo Toss. This is actually touchable, you know, it keeps everything warm. So you push it out to the side and keep on cooking. So I'm going to now add my paella rice. It's not aborio, but we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> so I'm gonna add my rice. It's about a cup of rice, and I just want to toast this just a little bit. Not too much, but let's get a little uh, color on my rice. Uh, and that, I think personally for me, it's just, it adds a little bit of flavor to the rice. Not everybody does that, but um, I, I like it. I'm gonna just keep it moving because I don't want it to burn. Just get it nice and fragrant. I am going to dry saute my chanterelles uh, just very quickly while my timbo is really hot. I don't want to add any oil at this point. I just want to get a little bit of the moisture out of my mushroom. So this is just going to be a really quick saute. Pine needles. Pine needles are good for you. <laughs> So as you can see, uh, again, these are really delicate mushrooms, so they are just leaching a little bit of their liquid. Oh my God, guys, if you could smell that. So you can see how they just really go they, down to nothing. They leached a lot of liquid. Yeah. Wow. So, you know, when you are, you know, a lot of people, I've, I've heard, you know, people talk about how much they hate mushrooms uh, because they're mushy or they're mealy and, and Typically what happens is people uh, get their mushrooms, they put a whole bunch of oil in their pan, and then they end up with bad texture on their mushrooms and they blame the mushrooms. It's not the mushroom. Do not start your mushrooms in a pan full of oil. Mushrooms are extremely uh, water dense. So you wanna get some of the water out of the mushrooms first. And then uh, once that m moisture dissipates, then, then add your oil and you'll get a nice little brown, a nice little sear on your mushrooms. And trust me, they'll be delicious and they'll be flavorful. Okay, so here we are. Um, I am going to start adding my liquid. I'm gonna put some uh, in the center just to glaze my pan. And then I'm gonna start adding my rice in, uh, the rice that I've already toasted. And with uh, risotto, you want to add your liquid slowly and allow the rice to absorb it at the rice's own pace, I guess you could say. You don't want to overload it with too much liquid too quickly, otherwise you end up with a mushy mess. At what point do you add the cream? Cream. <laughs> You're testing me. I am. <laughs> no, you do not add cream to risotto. That's cheating, I know. It's cheating. Yeah, no, <laughs> you don't do that. All right, so as you can see, it soaked up that uh, liquid pretty quickly, so I'm just gonna add uh, and I'm gonna add it about a cup, cup and a half at a time here. Yeah, that's good enough. And what you're looking to do is release the starch in your rice. And that's how you get a nice creamy risotto without adding cream, which you will find in some restaurants that shall not be named. <laughs> so I'm just gonna continue with this until my rice is almost done. And then I'm going to add everything together and, and hopefully we'll have a nice risotto. <laughs> we'll see. All right guys, so as you can see, my risotto is nice and creamy here. It's still al dente, so it's, uh, it still has a, uh, you know, the, the rice is not all the way cooked through. You don't want it to be mushy, you want it to have a little give, so al dente, it's uh, to the tooth, I think is what that means. So we're gonna start adding our vegetables in here. Mix those in. We're gonna add in the chicken mushrooms that I foraged and just incorporate all of these flavors and together. I wish you could smell this. <laughs> what do you think, babe? Come smell this. It smells good. Smells good? Yeah. Wow. Smells good? Smells really good. Awesome. All right, and... Yeah, yeah it's perfect. Yep, yeah, it's about ready. Let's taste this. Give it a try. Yeah. Mm. Oh, perfect. You good? This is really good. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to add my fresh herbs from Miss mm. Myrtle, the Wandering Herb Garden. Yep. And I have some artichokes. 
I have a little butter. I'm using uh, Miyoko's cultured butter here, unsalted. This stuff is fantastic. And I'm gonna let this simmer for just a few more minutes. Not even, I would say another 60 seconds. I'm just gonna add in my chanterelles. I'm gonna add the last addition of my stock. Nice and creamy. There we go. Oh, that looks great. A little more butter. A little bit of lemon juice. Adds a nice brightness to your dish. All right, guys, this is a done meal. We're ready to eat. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you give this a try. Uh, it's not your average camp meal, but I think you're gonna enjoy this. And uh, I'll try and get the recipe together, of course. <laughs> Happy camp cooking. And we'll see you on the next one. All right, so we're just gonna plate this up. Mm. So it is pretty rich, so you don't need a ton here. And last but not leastly, we have some of these beautiful greens from the Brattleboro Farmer's Market. Well, those micro greens, right? Yeah, beautiful microgreens. So we're just gonna add a little bit of these. In the center. Now we're gonna eat. Here we go. We're all done. Yes, eat. <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. Oh, this fire feels good. All right, honest opinion. Tell me how uh, it is. No. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. Wow. Mm. Everything's perfect. That's really good. Rice is al dente perfectly. Mm -hmm. I know I like to use that word. Oh, that word. <laughs> I know. It's my big word for the day. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. Mm. Chanterelles are really good. Yeah, this is mushroom risotto. Oh, Timbits. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I don't want to toot my own horn, but it's pretty good. <laughs> Come on, that's a gourmet camp meal. It is. And it was um, pretty simple. It was very, very simple. And it honestly did not take that long, guys. I mean, it really yeah. didn't. I would say it was probably 40 minute, a 40 minute meal from start to finish if you prepare your vegetables, you know, ahead of time. So sometimes I will cut my onions, my carrots, my celery, but that takes, that takes seconds. This was a very quick meal, although it seems very elaborate, but it came mm. together really fast. Now, what other mushroom would you use? If you don't have the great mushroom hunter didn't find- <laughs> The great <clears throat> mushroom hunter. Didn't find chanterelles. What other mushrooms would you consider using? You know, you can use any mushroom, really. Mushroom risotto isn't a pretentious dish. It's not, you know, a fancy dish, although it sounds like it. And in the States, we make it, you know, fancy, but you can use white button, you can use cremini. Um, I like the chanterelle because it's so delicate and, and I like to let the flavors just stand out. But um, you can use portobellos, you can use shiitakes, you can use any mushroom. Just remember the tip, you know, don't start your mushrooms with oil, just start it in a dry pan. Watch the, you know, liquid dissipate. I want to say mushrooms are like 90% water. So as you know, oil and water do not mix. So just uh, dry pan, sear your mushrooms, let some of that water leach out, then add your oil and you're going to have some amazing mushrooms. You know, I, I want to stop the vil vilification of mushrooms. You're going to enjoy it. All right, guys, we hope you enjoy this video. Mm -hmm. and so, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you more content like this. And we'll see you on the next Hiker Trailer Eats. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you on the next Hiker Trailer Eats. That's all you get from me. I'm eating. <laughs> mm. That's good. You guys, you really must try this. It's fantastic. Mm.
Good rule, good.